Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and it's gonna be a merch day, yay! Okay, so I don't know exactly where we're gonna go. I mean, we'll probably go to World Disney, maybe inside of Disneyland, but either way, we are on the hunt for all of the latest merchandise all around the Disney Resort. So come along with me, let's hang out, and let's go look at merch. I love the new music in the Esplanade. Can you hear it? Okay, well, it didn't catch on like the good chorus part, you know, the Tiki Room part. But anyway, we are gonna go to World of Disney first because, well, I checked the I checked the time and the parade magic happens is happening right now, and so I think it's best for us to avoid that at the moment. The front entrance of World of Disney has the Mickey and Co collection out, and I love how colorful it is. But look at this—they've added home goods. Are you interested in a very fluffy-looking bath mat? Ooh, and I like how colorful it is. I just like how graphic and fun this one is. And let me check the price. Oh, I see a price. $35. And it is very fun, very fluffy. And then you can even get the matching hand soap. I love these. These are so fun. If you don't know, they pump out like a Mickey head, which I think is very cool. These are usually $20, but sometimes they run promos where you can get like two for $30. Okay, no price, but I'm gonna call it, I think this is 15 or 20, somewhere around there. <laughs> and then we also have a shower curtain. Wow, they're going all out with this. That is really cool. Okay, $45. A very soft, a very fluffy hand towel, and I like that this is fully embroidered with Mickey right there, and I do like that it's like plain white. I just like the very graphic, very pop arty look of all of this, and if I didn't mention it, this one is $20, and this is not new, but I just wanted to point it out because I think it is really pretty. I love how like delicate and the colors. The colors are exceptional, and then on the inside it says Disneyland Resort in a very like pretty, delicate script font. Okay, $19.99. I've already seen a good majority of this merch and I've featured it in other videos. Look at this. Ooh, wait, no, this is still the kid size. At first I was like, wait, we have an adult size of the sweater dress? It looks like it's supposed to be a vest, but no, it is in fact a sweater dress for children. But we do have new sweatpants. These are for women and it looks like we have sizes extra small up to 3X and they feature mini with very bright pink polka dots and the fabric is like a, it's just like a regular old cotton. It is like a little bit stiff, but that's mainly because of the print, but the print is not like a heat press. It's actually in like in the fabric. It's like silk screen on there. So it is, it gets points for that, you know, and it's jogger style. Let's see. And then a tie at the front. I love the added detail of the hang tags, having the Mickey and Co logo. And then they're $55. For $60, there's a women's vest right here, a sweater vest, and I think it's so cute, mainly because the colors, the colors are very saturated, and it's a very, like, high-quality knit cotton. It feels really nice, and I feel like you could style this in so many ways, and it would be so cute, and it also gets extra points, the Mickey & Co. collection does, because they all have, like, inner tags with the Mickey & Co. collection logo on it. I take back what I said about having seen a lot of this because these two pieces are new. They're both for women. This is a very cute v-neck cardigan and it's made out of that same material as the sweater vest. It's nice and thick. And then we have Mickey and I just love how graphic it is and the colors, they look so great. Let me check the back. By the way, it's $79.99. Ooh, and then it's the same Mickey pose, but it just looks extra graphic because they like switched around the orientation. Looks really good. For $40, there's a t-shirt dress right here for women, and I like that it's so graphic, but I do think it's giving me a little bit of, like, beach towel vibes. Is it giving you the same feeling? I don't know, <laughs> but maybe, you know what, I feel like they do have a beach towel in this exact print. Maybe that's why, but I touched it, and it's, it is, so this isn't a print. It's actually silk screened on, so that's really nice. It's, like, more malleable, and it's a thicker cotton, and at first, like, Usually for a t-shirt, I wouldn't appreciate that, but in this case, if it's gonna be a full-on dress, you wanna feel covered, so I appreciate the extra thickness. I've already seen a few of these items, and I think they're so cute. I didn't realize it was gonna be a full-fledged mini collection. I'm not sure how big it's going to be, 
but these items are all so fun. I like that the color palette is really limited. And then I was touching this sweatshirt. It is delightfully thin, so I feel like it'll transition into spring so well. And it feels just like so nice. It's very plush. And then it has flocking on it. So if you notice like the castles down the sleeve and I was looking at it, I was like, are there different icons? No, it's just castles are kind of like scattered, but it's flocked. So it has this nice velvety texture to it that is so cute. It adds like a little bit of a vintage touch to it. And then the Disneyland thing right here, all of the blue is all flocked. I think that's adorable. So this is $59.99. It looks like it runs like the sizing looks like it runs slightly slim and also very long. It looks like a very long sweatshirt. I'm excited that it's not just women's clothing. So this is a men's shirt. It's $40 and it's made out of this delightful cotton. It's pretty thin and it feels like it's just going to, it's going to pill like ever so slightly, but it's gonna just add to its vintageness, its retroness. And I love the ringer collar and just the colors. And then of course the Disneyland logo is embroidered right there in white. It looks fabulous. There are women's sweatpants right here that go from extra small all the way up to 3X. They're $55. Actually, wait, let me confirm. No, $49. I misspoke. But they're made out of the most delicious fabric for sweatpants. Like, sometimes I think the fabric that they use, like certain vendors, is a little bit thick or a little bit stiff. This is really nice. It's a midweight material, and it just feels plush. This is a good one. Whoever the vendor is for this collection, A-plus job. And then there's flocking on the Disneyland part right here, that, like, goldenrod yellow. And then it has a daisy, a heart, and I think it's the castle. Yeah, we get the castle on the other side. These are great. And then there's a long sleeve here, and it looks like this is unisex sizing because this is an extra small, and it looks very long, and it looks a little bit larger than a women's extra small. It's $39.99, and I really love this, like, cafe au lait kind of color, and this one doesn't have the flocking on it. It just has printing on it, but I think it's very fun, very retro. I'm in the Star Wars section and I was looking for Mandalorian merch. I was really hoping they would have released some new stuff just for the show, but I really don't see anything new new, but we'll still look because I love Star Wars merch. Maybe we'll find something exciting. I spotted something new. At least this is new to me. Ooh, and it's metal. Can you hear that? That brings me joy. I really like the silhouette of it. It's very geometric. And then I, ooh, I also just like the illustrations all around. I feel like it's very like storyboard, very comic book-y. Although I will say, sometimes I feel like they just don't get Grogu's face right. And this may be one of those times, but all around, I think this is really nice. I just, I'm really into the silhouette. Okay, $23. There is a new kid shirt, and so this is for girls. This is $29.99, and it's a very, very saturated teal. It's made out of this cotton that has a little bit of, like, nubbiness to it. You wouldn't really know unless, you, like, you felt it. And even then, it's pretty minuscule. But then the graphic, it says, through the force, you will find balance. And Grogu is looking cute. Look at the tiny hairs on the top of his head. We love those tiny, tiny hairs and his little wrinkles. It is a heat press, so it's, like, a little bit thick, but I don't think it's, like... A egregious and then has little side ties those are very adorable kids truly get all the cool stuff and just like the cutest merch so this shirt is $22 it is for kids it's a really nice charcoal gray the material is very finely thin it's like it's nice but then the graphic is so cute except once again little Grogu's face why why do they do this to him when his cuteness is his ultimate power well that's not true but I also like this so it has like this very metallic gold right there and so it's just kind of like it accents it it looks really nice there's a very big Disney Pets collection. Actually, I, okay, there's a name for this collection. I just don't know what it is, but it's big. But I wanted to show you these in particular. So they have two planters and they're so cute. They're $25 each. This one is Chippendale and it has a very vibrant plant right there. And then the other one, I think this is so cute. It's Thumper, look at Thumper. And then the best part is look at the succulent. They made the succulent like a nice soft pastel-y color palette so it would match Thumper. How cute is that? 
I'm in the main room that has the Oswald and Disney 100 merch and I was really hoping to glean something new knowing that I probably wouldn't but I did find one thing so we have a Oswald sculpture right here it's $110 and of course it comes in a very cute little package but more importantly than the packaging the sculpture is really nice I can't tell if you can tell but there is a little bit of a holographic glaze on it and he's made in like a low poly art style so do you remember when like low poly art was like kind of trendy like 10 years ago well it's back but it's back in sculpture form and it features Oswald people have asked in the past what kind of magic band selection there is so I'm gonna try to really quickly show you there's a lot and I don't keep up with the magic band so I'm not sure exactly which ones are new but they do have just like classic Mickey ones we have some princess goofy Winnie the Pooh some more princess and just like classic what's this one? Oh, it's princess jasmine oh my gosh and then chippendale that is very cute we have some more basic ones let's see stitch Ooh, the cheshire cat this one is a bambi one let's see dumbo i think this one is new this uh big thunder mountain one and then they have a california adventure theme one Ooh, that's disney treats that looks very cute oh and the disney 100 i kind of missed that that one is for the disney 100 this one came out recently this one is oswald and oswald is one of my favorites so i love that one and then oh my gosh i'm dying i love this one donald duck and then there's some like mom and dad ones so like mom dad let's see and then we have marvel i'm gonna go kind of slow so you can kind of see although i know i'm not giving you like the best view and then Star Wars, let's see. Oh no, Star Wars is like right up here. So we have some Grogu. Oh, but before I missed this. So there's Pixar. Oh my gosh, this one is adorable. It has Lotso in the middle, right on the puck. That is very cute. And then more Star Wars. The Millennium Falcon one is neat. Oh my gosh, and the droids. Droids are awesome. And then, yeah, I think that's everything. I'll take a look around. And in case you're wondering the prices, so they range. So it's $35. Those are the super basic ones, like the plain colored ones. And then the more elaborate ones are $55. I love Disney Home Goods and right now the home store is closed because they're doing construction around it but I just love all of this. Ooh, especially the pink. This is very cute. But I wanted to show you this in particular. So there's measuring spoons and I think these are really fun. So they're like brass but they're Mickey heads. Very, very cool. I mean, I kind of want this for my house, you know? Okay, $19.99. I always have to take a look at all the new water bottles and the mugs. I love mugs. Mugs are definitely a weakness for me. I always want to purchase them. And then the Oswald one, we've seen this one already, but I can see a new one. I think I'm going to be tall enough to get it. Yep. Okay. So this one, ooh, it's a nice satin finish black right there. And it says Disneyland. It has like a brushed stainless steel for the D. And then I like that very thin, like outline for the 55 that looks really good and then i think it has like a spout top yeah it has a kind of like a sport top for it oh and even on the back it says dreams do come true and it has oh my gosh it has a balloon stop it i love it if only it were a red travel balloon for winnie the pooh okay 39.99 Ooh, this calls out to me and I think it's mainly just because well, I love pastel colors I also love fantasy land and you can see right there the other side says fantasy land and I just really love the collegiate style There's a whole collection for fantasy land. It's like women's clothing and accessories and I love that with clear lid Okay, let's see $23 I have such a weakness for Disney home goods. I'm like such a nerd. I just love them But I really enjoy this in particular. I wonder if there's gonna be more items So there's a tea towel set right here. This one says Disneyland. The colors are spectacular Okay, so this is like creamy and then down here. Look at them. They're these like slightly more saturated pastel colors I'm obsessed. Ooh, and this is kind of felty. No, it's plush do you see that? It has like a slight pile to it. I love this. Okay, I'll show you the other side. So, well, not other side, there's two towels. So this one right here, and by the way, sometimes these are like terrible, like thick, like unmalleable. This is actually like slightly pliable and I'm loving it. 
but it has attractions and they're all kind of like in a vectorized art style and it even has Star Wars. Look at that. I am always tempted by all of the huh? Disney aprons, but I just like don't use an apron so there's no point. But this one is spectacular. Look at the pocket. It has so much embroidery and then unfortunately it does not have the feltiness, but that is fully embroidered. That is incredible. And it's also made out of a really nice cotton twill. I just love this. Okay. This one is $35. I'm in the Pixar section and they have some nice cardigans here. So this one is obviously for Soul. It has music notes all across and these really fun colors. And it's a nice knit. It's like not too thick, not too thin. This would be perfect for layering. And of course it says the Half Note Jazz Club. It looks really nice. I bet there's something on the front though. Let's see. This one is unbuttoned. I wonder if the buttons, yes, the buttons are like a nice color. I thought they might be multicolored. But there's nothing else on the front other than just music notes. That's kind of nice. In the Pixar section, they also have an Oliver and Company sweater. This is really cool. I like the taxi cab checkers all across, and I feel like maybe this is having an anniversary because I feel like I've seen a few Oliver and Company pieces. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But we have all of the animals right there, and then let's see what's on the front. We have Oliver, and then it looks like it's embroidered. Ooh, yes, it's like a patch, and it's fully embroidered. That is really cool. There's a men's shirt here that I have not seen before. It's made for Wally and it's a cream color. Ooh, it has a nice weight to it. It's like not too thick, not too thin. And then we have Wally. Oh my gosh, I really like how the artwork on this is like very layered. And then we have the tire tracks, very cute. And the boot, oh my gosh, okay. I also like the placement of the graphics on this. It's like scattered all across instead of just on the chest. And then we have Wally right there with the boot. I mean, where's Eve though, right? There's a men's ringer tee here, and I think this is so cute. It's baby blue, and then it has like a medium blue for like the collar and for the sleeves. And then the alien, it's fully embroidered, and I just think like basics like this are so cool. Let's see, how much is this? Okay, $39.99, and let's see, is there anything on the back? Nothing on the back. I'm really into that. I like simple stuff, so like this totally draws me in. He is so cute. Look at it, it's a crochet kit and you get to make three little aliens. It says it includes everything you need to make three space aliens. Oh my gosh, I am so into this. I'm like very into arts and crafts, so I feel like this would be a relaxing thing to do. Okay, nothing on the back, but the price is $19.99. I came inside a Fortuosity shop, which is on Main Street, because I felt like there just wasn't that much new stuff at World of Disney, and here I am with an entire Little Mermaid collection, and I'm so excited because it looks so pretty and like so dreamy. This is $14.99, and this is a really pretty keychain with a lot of iridescence in it. I mean, look at Ariel. I really like the watercolor nature of all the graphics here, and then I think that's a shell, right? Yeah, that's a plastic shell, and then it has a little plastic band right there, and I like the gold tone hardware. I think that's kind of cool. This piece is so pretty. Okay, it's $59.99, and it has Ariel, and I just love the watercolor nature of all of the illustrations. It even has embroidery on it, and it looks like it's well, it's not really iridescent. It kind of like has a little bit of shine and shimmer to it though. And then the buttons, the buttons aren't plain gray. They actually have like a little bit of mother of pearl like reflection in it. And it has a texture of like a fishtail, which I think is really cool. But all around this is really pretty. Ooh, and it has like a really nice relaxed fit. And then even this, look, it has pleating at the, at the wrist. So it'll kind of like balloon out a tiny bit, but all around the color palette, so pretty and just like, I don't know, I'm just really into pastel colors, so this is totally up my alley. There's a women's tee here for $39.99, and it's made out of the most just like supremely soft and silky material. And then check it out, it has like a miniature princess sleeve and it's a flutter cut, which is like super flattering. And then Ariel herself, she looks beautiful. Don't you think that illustration is gorgeous? And it's glittery and it's not thick. I already like touched it. It's actually silk screened, so it's part of the material you can see. It's fabulous. And all around, just like a very loose, very drapey and like airy type of cut. There's a dress here for $49.99 and it has a really pretty A-line cut to it. And then it has buttons all the way down the front. Ooh, when they're mother of pearl, they're very pretty. And the material itself, it has like a little bit, see it like has a stretch to it. So I feel like this would be a little bit more flattering. And then also it like, I feel like it would drape really well and it would kind of like have good movement and it would swing around. But yes, very cute. 
There's a women's tank top right here made out of a very pretty pink rib material. It's $35 and then there's a patch with Ariel and I think this is so pretty. So pretty and then it has embroidery and the embroidered parts are a little bit shimmery which is very nice and I feel like the material feels really good. It feels really nice and high quality and all around super cute. Is there any like Sometimes they'll put like a cute little tag on the bottom. I love it when they do that, but it looks like that's not the case, but also like it when it's kind of plain. This Little Mermaid collection, it's not just women's clothing, it's also home goods, which I think is really fun. And this is an accent lamp. Isn't that amazing? I feel like the, the little pearl on the inside is so cool and it looks like it's like glazed. Ooh, yes, it is. Do you see how it's like pearly, but also slightly iridescent? I think that is so pretty. This is $80 and just like, how cute would this be as a little tiny lamp somewhere in your house? This is $35 and at first I was like, it looks like a cookie jar, right? I mean, my first instinct is to say it's a cookie jar, but it's just a really pretty vase and it also has that pearly glaze on it. Although the glaze that's on the lamp is spectacular. If you see it in real life, you'll just know it looks so good and I don't think it comes across on camera that well, but this is so pretty and I like the texture of like the fishtails and then this like little seaweedy type of thing at the very top. So cute. And then Ariel is also on the back in like a different pose. So many adorable home goods. Look at this. Okay, so we have a cake stand and this one does have the same beautiful glaze. Do you see how it has like a rainbow iridescent quality to it? This is the same as on the lamp. And then at the base, you can see Ariel and Flounder. Sebastian, is that supposed to be? Yeah, it is. That's so funny. Okay, let me check the price carefully. Okay, this is $49.99. This adorable teapot and teacup set is $69.99. Actually, wait, let me triple check that. Look at the box, isn't that pretty? Okay, it is, yes, yeah, $69.99. You can see how they stack on top of each other and look at the beautiful, like, scalloped, wavy design of the dish itself. And then I'll try and show you the design like that. This mug is $19.99 and it's just so gorgeous. This one actually has just like the plain silver glaze instead of it having, like for instance, this one has a little bit more of an iridescent like multicolored sheen to it, but it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And then look at Ariel, look at Sebastian. I think he looks like kind of silly in a good way. And then Ariel right here with flounder. I've seen this pillow here at Fortuosity Shop before, but I just wanted to point it out to you because I think it's so cute. It's also very soft and also very plush. And I love the clamshell design of it. And of course, I love the colors and the print. I mean, come on, how cute. And $39.99. I came inside of Disney Clothiers because I just refuse to believe that there isn't that much new merch. I mean, I just feel like there isn't that much, but I have found some Disney princess items and these are really cute. So this down here, this is a huge cushion and I actually saw somebody like right before the parade, they were sitting on the sidewalk saving their spot with this cushion and I was like, stop. That is such a convenient use of it. Although, you know, they obviously bought it today and it's not like you would want to cart this thing around. It definitely wouldn't fit in a locker. Okay, $49.99 and it has like the prettiest dusty, like pastel kind of color palette. And then even up here, let's see. Oh, it has like, do you see how it has like silhouettes of like princess icons? Like there's a shell right there, Cinderella shoe. The throw is $59.99. It's made out of a really nice quilted material. And I actually like when I went to check the price, it's pretty lightweight. It's not like, you know how sometimes these can be really stiff and just like not like very heavy feeling. <laughs> well, this one is not. And this is the actual image that's on it. And you can see it's all of the different princesses and I just love the color palette and the little icons that are kind of like scattered around. Really pretty and just the illustrative nature of this. It's so expressive and I just like the, I like the like new rendition they have for the princesses. I think it's pretty. I've already seen this before. This is a little compact mirror for Mulan. It's $20 and then they now have two more. So this one is for Rapunzel. It's the lantern and you can even see like the flowers have little etchings in them. And then this one right here, this is a rose gold one. This one is like very yellowy and then that's like obviously like a pink chromey kind. But then this one is for the little mermaid and at first it was kind of hard for me to tell but you can see like the shell. It has like very vague etchings of it being a shell. Not as obvious as like the Rapunzel ones, but I love it. 
Yay, they have new men's items. So this is right next to Disney Clothiers. This is the men's section and they have Nike dry fit polo shirts. And then this one has like, it has like a texture like knit into it. It's part of the weave. And then it has a Mickey head, which I think is kind of cool. Let's see how much is this one. Okay, well this one is 80. I'm gonna guess this one is either 80 or 75. It's also 80 and I doubt there's anything on the back. There is not, but it's kind of nice. It's very simple. Oh, and then also the Nike swoosh is right here on the sleeve. And then this one, this is the same cut. It's a polo shirt. It's made out of the same dry fit material, but this one actually has a little bit more of like a sheen to it. This one doesn't have that same like shininess. This one does. It's like very athletic feeling. Well, okay, both of them do. And then this also, it just has like the Mickey hat. I thought at first that maybe there would be like hidden Mickeys in the print. Sometimes when I look back, like when I'm editing, I'm like, there is a hidden Mickey there. Duh, come on. But this one it doesn't. It just kind of reminds me of like, well, camouflage, but more so like composition notebooks. I turned the camera on a little bit too late, but the Enchanted Tiki Room song was playing. And I was like excited. I was like, wait a minute, we are coming full circle. Ooh, the monorail is about to go by. for always filming this over here in the picnic area like I I just the monorail goes by all the time and I'm like is that loud and then you hear like the tram right over there and it's always making it sounds but anyway I should get back to where I was talking about how I'm ending the video <laughs> you guys I just wanted to say thank you I appreciate all of you I appreciate all of you watching and yes today was a very good day although I feel like we didn't see that much new merch am I wrong am I going crazy I don't know but Yes, it was still a very fun day regardless. I mean, I just like walking around, enjoying the Disney atmosphere. Ooh, and you know what? I got to watch the parade. I think that's kind of cool. I just like, you know, it was one of those things where there was a big crowd and I was like, well, if you can't beat them, then join them. And that's exactly what I did. And I got to see the parade and just like hang around Disneyland. So all around, who can say that's not a good day? It was an amazing day, but I just said amaz amazing. I'm tired. Okay, I'm gonna go now, but thank you guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Okay, see ya. <laughs>